guys, it's Deidre from Our Upcycled Life and welcome to my channel. If you like uh, upcycling, repurposing, DIYs, you've come to the right place and we'd love to have you follow along. So make sure you like, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any great tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to Mod Podge on rocks and you can put cute little graphics on them and it's super simple, super easy and I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial so you can make your own. All you need is computer paper, a laser printer and some Mod Podge and a rock that you can probably find anywhere. The first thing you're gonna do is look for a nice smooth rock that can be either flat or round that you're gonna be able to put graphics on. And this one I found on one of our last camping trips. When you're looking for a rock, you want something that's smooth and doesn't have a lot of nooks and crannies. You want the graphic to be able to lay flat when you put it on the rock. You wanna wash it with soap and water really well and then let it dry. You're going to need the Mod Podge matte finish that works the best for this project. I designed my graphics in PicMonkey and then I printed them out on my laser printer on just normal computer paper and you have to make sure that you reverse the text. You can do that um, in a Word program or you can do it on Google Docs. If you don't reverse it, you won't be able to read the letters once you transfer them onto the rock and I'm just gonna cut them out to size to fit on my project. I use PicMonkey to design all of my graphics. It's a paid subscription because I use it all the time, but you can um, create them in Canva or in your Word programs and that would work perfect. I would recommend for this project to use a laser jet printer. You can use an inkjet printer for this technique, but I just found that it didn't work all that great to do it on the rocks. So the first thing I'm going to do is just put a light coat of the Mod Podge matte finish on the graphics and then apply them to the rock. You want to make sure that you have it centered where you want the graphics and then press them down really hard get all the air bubbles and all the little crinkles out of the paper and press it down firmly and uh, make sure that it's adhered well to the rock there's so many possibilities of quotes and pictures that you can put on rocks that you find i like to uh, when i'm out camping find little rocks and i always bring them home as a kind of a keepsake and then I'll put a little word or a little quote on them to remind me of that trip. They also make really great gifts and they don't cost a lot of money. You can actually also paint the rocks before you do this with a chalk paint, um, but I kind of like the look of the natural color of the rocks coming through uh, on this project. If you were going to paint your rocks, I would only use a chalk paint. I would not use a latex or an acrylic paint. The chalk paint seems to work the best uh, with this transfer method. I'll put a link below in the description. I have a really great chalk paint recipe um, that I made a tutorial of, and you can have a look if you wanna make some of your own. Okay, the graphics are all on, and now we're gonna let it sit for 24 hours. Okay, it's the next day, and we're ready for the next step. You want a little dish of water and a little cloth, and you want to just very lightly just dampen that paper, just so you can start to see the graphics. You don't wanna have it soaking wet, you just want a little bit on it, and then you're just gonna very gently rub with your finger until all of the paper comes off and the graphic will stay on the rock. And this is kind of a little bit tricky. You just want to be patient. You don't want to rub it too hard or um, go too fast at it. Just take your time. And it does take a little bit of a knack. I have lots and lots of practice at this. So your first one, it might not work properly and you might rub some of the graphic off. But uh, 
keep at it because it definitely is just something that takes a little bit of practice, um, but it is easy. I'm filming this in real time, so you can actually see how long it takes for me to rub off this first graphic. You want to keep rubbing until it doesn't feel like there's any more paper left on it. It might look a little tiny bit cloudy when you're all finished, but um, that will go away when we put the top coat on. You just want to make sure that it feels like all the paper has been rubbed off and it feels nice and smooth. turned out fabulous. I got all the paper rubbed off of it. I'm just going to give it another little wipe just to get any little residue or anything off of it and we're ready to put on the top coat. For the top coat I'm using a Verithane water-based outdoor polyacrylic sealer and this one is in satin. You can buy it in the satin in the gloss and I like the outdoor one just because it's more durable. You can buy a indoor one um, but this is the one I prefer and this also is non-yellowing so your project will not go yellow um, after you paint it on. So I'm just going to give it a good coat. You'll find that when you've rubbed all of the paper off you'll still have little pieces and bits that are a little white um, and those will go away once you paint on this polyacrylic. You will also see as you're painting on the polyacrylic that you'll see the outline of where all the Mod Podge was um, and that also will go away when it all dries. I've made these and have them set outside, uh, not right out in the elements, but I've had them out on a porch and on a deck that was covered and they still look really good. I think the difference is using the outdoor Verithane that seals it really well. I'm gonna coat all of the top and then let it dry and then I'm gonna flip it over and I'll put a coat on the bottom and it'll be all set. And here's the finished project. I think it's just adorable. Smile, sparkle, shine. Would make a perfect gift or just to tuck on a cupboard or a dresser. And I just love making these. And here are some other ones that I made from a trip to New Brunswick. On one of the beaches, I collected a bunch of these really amazing little rocks and put little quotes on them. And they're a great memory of a wonderful trip. you've enjoyed today's tutorial and get out and find some really cool rocks and try out this method. Have a great day!